Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment, and you're probably looking at me saying, what is that knucklehead doing from New Jersey? Well, right now I'm holding the packaging for the bean hopper, and also for the grinder, the foam that the ECMV Titan 64 millimeter burr grinder comes in, and here is the holder for, or the packaging for the top portion of the grinder. Uh, behind me here is the box that it comes in, very, very well packaged grinder. Uh, ECM manufacturer, which is in uh, Heidelberg, Germany, uh, has started producing their own grinders several years ago. And uh, we just want to go over the uh, Titan grinder, which is a phenomenal grinder. Uh, we actually asked them uh, to make some improvements uh, when it first came out. A couple of little things that we didn't like. One was the uh, some of their uh, worm gears, the, the stepless gear that goes around uh, on the burr carrier was made of plastic and we really pushed hard to make sure that they made them in either stainless or some type of metal for the simple reason durability uh, because these are exposed. Uh, so right here we have this beautiful grinder, it does come with the instruction manual, uh, stainless steel drip tray, uh, stainless funnel cover, uh, bean hopper cover, and a clear uh, bean hopper here, which we have some beans. We have the stopper here, and we have basically a PID screen down here um, that uh, you could program the single, the double dose, or the manual. And then it also has a counter uh, to tell you how many uh, uh, basically grinding sessions have gone through on the uh, right hand side over here we have the power switch so that tells you the firmware 1.03 and it goes through a cycle if you want to get rid of those uh, moving uh, LEDs you can go to a single dot by hitting the plus button and then if you hold the two buttons in here uh, you have your T1 setting which okay so you got to kind of move fast on this T2 setting for two cup. So move fast and then hit that, that, that. Hit this side. Uh, the number of seconds you want to grind for is right there. So you almost kind of got to move fast with this and do that. And typically a one, one single dose is going to be about four seconds and a double dose around 6.2 to 7. It's gonna depend on the grind quality, um, or the grind fineness, I'm sorry. Uh, the finer the grind, the more time you're going to need to fill the basket. If it's a coarser grind, less time. The stepless adjustment, uh, basically, uh, if you're going from the side here, uh, when you're turning it clockwise, it goes finer and then counterclockwise is coarser. Now, rule number one here at First Line, and I just broke our rule, is basically change the settings when the grinder is running uh, because the burrs can gunk up on the inside. So just make sure you change the setting while it's running. So you'd have it powered on and running. And uh, if you gunk up the burrs, it means you gotta take everything apart and clean on the inside, or take it to a really coarse, coarse setting, run beans through it, gr keep on grinding, and slowly turn the dial while it's grinding to the finer setting. It's the only other way. Okay, so uh, in the bean hopper here, there is a set screw in here, so you can lock in the bean hopper so it doesn't come out. You have your stopper here. And the nice part about this grinder Okay, let's see if we can get this out. And the reason for the difficulty, and I know the set screw is not in place. As you could see, there is a rubber gasket here to make a nice seal. So uh, that's a really good feature on the grinder, uh, different than everyone else. Okay, and then in here, Inside we have uh, two titanium flat burrs and kind of a, a, a slider or a whipper inside. This is to prevent the popcorning of the beans coming up and basically to push the beans down towards the burrs uh, there. So as you can see, nice heavy metal here, all heavy metal. 
and really a heavy weight grinder, which we really like. And on the underside, we have our rubber feet, our capacitor, which is secured with a, uh, a tie wrap here. Uh, we've carried another model, uh, make and model grinder from another manufacturer that we stopped uh, because the capacitor here was falling off uh, in transit. And by not doing this, um, and the capacitor falling off, you can create a surge or a short in the grinder. So uh, that, gr that grinder is long gone. We no longer carry it here at First Line. But the one thing we also look for is making sure that capacitor inside here uh, basically is secured. Uh, secured either with a tie wrap or secure. And we know because when we ship the grinders out and if customers are getting them damaged and they're shorting, we know that's a defect, but we also look for it. And in most cases, the grinders we carry here, they, they're not gonna have that short. Uh, here we have our uh, sticker and Allen key screws that are holding the bottom plate. So don't remove this, uh, especially when it's powered on like I have right now. Here we have our uh, porta filter holder, okay? And it is adjustable. There's uh, two screws right here and look like Allen keys. And this portafilter holder can be adjusted up and down. And here is our push button for the portafilter. So let's get the bean hopper back in. Make sure you line up the hole with the set screw. And to be honest with you, you really don't have to put the set screw in. Okay, we'll go there. Get the stainless steel plate. Uh, the thing that I have a little difficulty sometimes with this grinder is the feet are kind of way back here. So you kind of have to be looking for the holes here. Uh, so that's one uh, little downside for me. Uh, the other thing is where ECM can improve. See this little dial right here, the knob? Why not put some uh, type of uh, print or engravement, engraving where uh, it shows you this way is finer with hour, another hour going maybe that way showing it finer, maybe like a smaller and larger bean, just to remind you which way to turn. So just uh, a, a little, little thing where they could have made an improvement there. And the funnel here uh, is small. As you can see, we've ground some coffee here. There is a little bit of retention here. So you do have a little bit of retention and that's gonna be pretty much on every espresso grinder coming out of Europe. And say we want to grind for a single, okay? Okay, so if you saw, I pressed for the single, the grind quality is phenomenal on this grinder. But after the single, I hit the button twice really fast. And basically by doing this, you could stop the timing of the grind and, and basically turn the grind off. Now, if say I did a double, okay? Then I would just press once to stop the double. So it's kind of interesting. You press once with a single and you got to do a double push to stop it, or you press twice for the double and then you press the single to stop it. So just a little insight into making the grinder work. Now, if you want to, and I have to pull the stopper out over here, you can grind manually just by holding the button in. and basically let go. So you have some nice functionality that's really been well thought out on the ECM uh, Titan grinder uh, with the 64 millimeter flat burrs and uh, it, it smells so good, the coffee coming out of here and the grind quality is really, really good. So hopefully you enjoyed learning more about this grinder. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask down below or if you have some comments, uh, down below. Uh, give us a thumbs up as well, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, be delighted to show you more stuff to come. And once again, Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Thank you for watching.